July 1st of 2016 marks the 100th anniversary of the Battle of Beaumont Hamel. This battle is often considered to be one of the most significant events in Newfoundland's history. On July 1st of 1916, the first day of the Battle of the Somme, 801 courageous soldiers of the Royal Newfoundland Regiment went over the top, and only 68 were there to answer the roll call the next day. 90% of the Royal Newfoundland Regiment were casualties in this battle. In less than a half hour, nearly an entire regiment was wiped out. The tremendous sacrifices of Newfoundlanders during World War I is deeply ingrained in our province's history. Thanks to the Vimy Foundation, when I was in grade 10, I had the honor of traveling to Europe to study World War I hands-on at the battlefield. I'll never forget what it was like to walk through World War I battlefields like Beaumont Hamel. Even though 100 years have passed since the First World War, you can still see the craters caused by bombshells in the battlefield. On tours of no man's land, we passed by signs that read, do not enter, undetonated explosives. Even though 100 years have passed, there's still live ammunition littered in the battlefields. Seeing the physical evidence of the horrors that went on during the First World War made me realize the tremendous courage it took for soldiers to go overseas. Behind me, you'll see the Caribou at Bowering Park in Newfoundland. It's one of six in the world. As a Newfoundlander, it was a riveting experience to learn about the significance of the caribou at Beaumont Hamel. At Beaumont Hamel, the caribou stands overlooking no man's land, facing the German front lines. Like caribou, who always travel in herds and always are together, the Newfoundlanders kept trudging forward, always together, and never leaving one another at the Battle of Beaumont Hamel, despite the horrific circumstances that lay before them. The caribou epitomizes the spirit of the Newfoundlanders at Beaumont Hamel. Traveling with the Vimy Foundation has taught me why we remember. Although our soldiers are laid to rest, their story is not, and it's our job to keep it alive.